Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm gonna do a green and black makeup tutorial before I get started. I did my brows, base with concealer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's it, let's get started. This has been requested by Giddy Cool 7010. It looks very beautiful. It is perfect for fall or any time of the year. This is sort of like modern crunch. It looks good. A little fun fact about me. I love pairing black with bright colors. Onto the makeup for a primer. I took the Tarte Candy one. You know Joe and I wait for a strip for I can do my left eye. The palette that I'm using is Makeup Revolution X Heavy Chop Gold Colorful Palette. It has a big mirror so I'm not picking up. I might blind you. I'm taking St. Catherine. Jab Jab Greens and Calypso today. The brushes I'm using are two from Best Soap, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, and one big kabuki brush to sweep away the fallout. To prevent fallout, I'm taking my face powder, which is the Cody Airspun, used in a dry cosmetic wedge from Dollar Tree. This will catch any fallout, so that will be good. And the shades in the Makeup Revolution X Tammy Tropical Carvel palette have fallout. I noticed that. And black, well, it has the most fallouts, so you have to be careful. And I'm a base first, eyes last girl. For the crease, I'm taking St. Catherine, which is the bright green. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Fluffy Crease Brush. I don't know the name of it. The paper is somewhere in my room. I'm going to do one more layer for the sake of this video to get it to show up on me. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla ice movie and i've been doing makeup videos for four years i used to be an animator but i stopped to focus on making makeup videos on youtube once i have enough time i'm going to blend it the color speed error when i open my eyes blend 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 that looks good i have this palette since 2020 and i haven't hit pan on it yet because i'm the queen of colorful eyeshadow and a makeup brush just fell but I'm going to pick it up later. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Jab Jab, which is in that black. Kind of matches my black headband a little bit. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Small Eyebrow Brush to get in there. Follow your lower lashes a little bit. And then sweep a little bit to the inner corner. I can see my lower lashes. Well, mine are on the blonde side. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. Okay, that looks good. And my least favorite color is black. But I like to pair, like, black with a bright color, like, bright green. Okay. For more wine, I'm taking NYX Epic Wear Liar Stick and All-Time Olive. This will pair perfectly with the black. My nose is running. Oh my. I think that looks good. I can see that olive green peeking through. For the lid, I'm taking greens, which is the shimmer bright green. The shimmer shades, like that makeup revolution has, is on the drier side. But the mattes are more creamy. It's just my opinion. I just have two Makeup Revolution palettes. This is my favorite so far. And I have not hit pan on the shades. I believe it's like $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know if it's still $20 today. For the inner corner, I'm taking Calypso. Which is the shimmer bright green. The lightest out of this palette where did my kabuki brush go 
I'm going to sweep away the fault without disturbing their makeup. The Cody Airspun has a little bit of fragrance to it. I don't mind it. I can press mascara to this side and I can be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. I complete. For highlighter, I'm taking Eva Color Selfie Face Highlighter in Magnificent. This is a white highlighter with a green reflex. I'm going to start on my nose north place that I highlight. I hope it, this shows on a full coverage concealer. I cannot live without highlighter. It is the icing on the cake for me. And my go-to highlighter shade is white. That looks good. And there's a little bit of glitter overspray. Well, I got it at Dollarama like two years ago. I really don't mind it. Well, it looks beautiful and it's sort of like the only greenish highlighter that I have for lip prep. I took Blistex DCT lip balm. This has SPF 20 in it. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, toilet paper, so my lips are nice and hydrated. Chap lips are not cute to line my lips since I don't have like a black lip liner. I'm just using eyeliner. This is from Beauty Runway. It's pencil. I might sharpen this after. A great hack if you don't have like any like lip liner, you can just use eyeliner. It's practically the same thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could blend it in a little bit, but I'm not going to to get that ombre effect. For gray lip gloss, I'm taking Taste Beauty Skittles Green Apple Lip Gloss. This will go in the center. That looks good. And then... I have a makeup wipe with me. Here is a complete green and black makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If at least I don't look like the Joker. It looks good. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This is really pretty for fall. So stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.